Thank you for joining us this morning on our podcast. You know, we've been talking a lot this week about the battle for our minds. It's a very interesting and, and intense subject because there is so much information that comes in and out of our minds on a daily basis that it can really be a bewildering and sometimes even discouraging and depressing emotion that goes through when we battle or struggle with trying to decipher all of this information that, that is coming into our lives. But as we, as we look at that and we begin to talk about that this morning, one of the great weapons that God gives us in addition to His Word to combat the things that are going on with the struggles that we have in our minds is the power of prayer. Now, a lot of times when people bring up prayer, they look at it as some generic form of, of things that we do to God, but a few really put the emphasis on prayer the way it needs to be put. You've heard me say here on our devotion times, and those of you who go to Sunrise Chapel on a regular basis, you've heard me say it from the pulpit and even in our Wednesday night classes, about the importance of getting with God in prayer even before you get up out of bed. Because if you get with Him and begin to pray and get get your mind right before you get up, it goes a long way into dictating not only the direction of your day, but the focus of your mind. And so when we pray, and when we think about these things, I want to ask you a question this morning. How many of you, maybe when you go to prayer, or you're struggling with things that are going on in your mind, have ever asked the question, does God even hear me? Does He see the pain and the struggle that I'm going through? Maybe you've ever even said, if He does, will He even help me? These are common questions, especially for those who are struggling with things that are going on in their minds. But there's a powerful verse this morning that I really want to read, and it's, it's found in Hebrews chapter 4 and verse number 16. And it says, Let us therefore come boldly unto the throne of grace, that we may obtain mercy and find grace to help in time of need. And that's very important because this tells us that we can step into prayer with assurance that God sees us, He hears us, and He loves us. But while we know that this is true, it doesn't always feel that way. It doesn't always feel so simple. So this morning, God really wants to encourage you to don't get up today and go by how you feel. Go by the facts. Go by the facts that the Lord said that you can first come to Him, and then how you can come to Him. You can come boldly. Because it's a throne of grace. And you need to show yourself some grace today. When you're going through whatever the struggles are you're going through, the enemy will try to tell you you're the only one going through that. But that's a lie. Because each and every one of us have our own struggles that we go through. Maybe you've been asking God for help. But as it doesn't feel like things have gotten any better, it may keep you wondering If the verse even applies to you. But I want you to understand this. Every verse in the Word of God has an application for your life. So we've talked about the lighthouses in your life. People that you can allow to come in. We talked about making sure that those lighthouses are true friends. Not fair weathered friends that will leave you in time of need. You need somebody that's going to stay with you even through the turbulent times. But then you've got an access straight to God through prayer. And don't just use the prayer as a generic way to just go and ask for something. Spend time with God before you even put your feet on the floor each and every day. Spend time with God. Get your mind right. Get your heart right. Get your spirit and soul right. Then get up and get about your business. Focused on the fact that your mind is stayed on Christ. Fix your heart, your mind, and your soul on the Lord Jesus Christ. All this other stuff that's going on in the world, it's temporary. It will not last. The Bible teaches us over and over and over again in the Word of God that we go through things. It never told us that we would go and stay in that situation. 
that we would actually go through it and come out on the other side. Come out on the other side with faith, with confidence, and with your mind right. Today you be safe, you be strong, and you be blessed. And you be that person today that says, you know what? I'm going to get my mind right before I even start this day. Because my mind belongs to the Lord, just like my heart. Lord's will, we'll see you back here again tomorrow. And until then, as always, I hope you have a great day.